Hi everybody and a big welcome to a CDH card review for Sauron of many colors, even though it's actually only Esper colors. Now he is black, blue, white and three generics, a total of six mana. That is actually quite a lot for a legendary creature, Avatar Wizard. 5-4. Ward. Discard an enchantment instant or sorcery card. So he has some form of protection. Like if someone is actually trying to hurt him, he's trading two for one. So there's an upside like paying this much mana for something like this. So that's good. However, if we straight up compare this guy to Tivit, Seller of Secrets, then I have to say that Tivit's protection ward pay free mana is a lot better. It is very expensive and CDH decks can't really afford to pay that amount of mana, but CDH decks usually are able to discard cards in to pay for the ward tax on this thing. However, that's not really what we're here for. We're here for the secondary ability. So here is the text in a little bit more easier way to read it. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, including your opponent's turn, each opponent mills two cards. When one or more cards are milled this way, exile target enchantment in some sorcerer card with an equal or less mana value than that spell from an opponent's graveyard. So you don't actually need to target the things that you mill, it's just a bonus effect that you're milling two things. You can target anything that was already there before the cards were the milled. Copy the exiled card. You may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. Now, the second spell CMC have to be equal or higher than the thing you're exiling and that you're trying to cast with this guy. A bit complicated, but that's what he does. And the reason he is a little bit, I wouldn't say busted, but the reason he is quite good or have some potential is that you can actually cast your opponent's Underworld Breach from their graveyard. And something that makes it even more fun is that you can cast a Brain Freeze from your deck targeting one of your opponents milling a lot of cards like Underworld Breach and then cast a secondary spell. Actually, how this is usually gonna play out is someone is casting a lot of spells and trying to pass a turn. In their end step, you cast Brain Freeze, milling them a ton. And then when you get to your turn, you cast two spells and you get their Underworld Breach from their graveyard into play under your control. There's a risk with this that you could act, they could accidentally have the breach in their hand, so you milling them could feed them, so consider that. But there's definitely something here. The fact that you can like cause an honorable breach from an opponent's graveyard is actually kind of interesting. But you can steal a lot of stuff like a rhystic study, a demonic tutor, etc, etc. Like you can gain some cool value here potentially. Another thing I actually find kind of interesting with this guy is that this ability can trigger each turn. It doesn't have to be your turn. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, you're able to get a trigger. So let's say one of your opponents are casting either in Tomb, Intuition, and they're putting a card you can actually steal. Let's say an Underworld Breach into your graveyard. You can then follow up by casting two spells and steal whatever card they're intending to cast. That is honestly kinda cool. So all in all, he actually has some actual cool potential. The only big problem is that extremely expensive 6 mana cost to it. So you just have to compare him properly with Tivit Seller of Secrets. Same mana cost. Now, better ward, and honestly, you don't tap out when you cast Tivit Seller of Secrets, because you usually gain 2 treasures, which means that you're gonna be able to usually afford 2 one cost counterspells or something of the sort so to say. In Saruman's case you're usually tapping out and you don't have any mana available to interact once you pass on the turn cycle. He doesn't do anything until you get to your turn with him in play. While Tivit Seller of Secrets, even if it's killed, you still gain the treasures and you still gain the clues. Saruman demands that you have a form of combo that you can steal from one of your... doesn't actually require that. I mean, you're an Esper color, so you can still do quite a lot. Like the typical Adnos or the typical Fasas Consult, so to say. But Tivit Seller of Secret has a one card combo with Time Sieve, so that is a difference. In the end, it's a very cool mechanic and I kind of like it. It looks fun. Like you can have a lot of fun with this thing. And it gets pretty amazing with a Dolphy Voidwalker in play. So. You cast two spells, you exile a top two cards of your opponent's library, and you feed your Dolphy. That is something. 
But in general, Esper has better commanders, in my opinion. He is really expensive, you have to acknowledge that. Like, that's a lot of mana for a okay effect. And it's not overly busted, it is just okay. I don't think anyone is actually going to interact with this guy, because no one really wants to. This got an art enchantment instant or sorcery card, but yeah, there's still other things that could really hurt him, so to say. My big concern is that you're costing him, you're passing turn, and you're losing before you get to your turn where you get to untap with your mana, where you get to utilize his value potential. Or you just never reach the mana to begin with. But I can absolutely see this commander winning games in tournaments. Everything is there, he has three colors, he has some good colors, blue and black, that's great, that's fast as consult. We can steal people's Undual Breach. But in the end, there are just better CDH Esper commander options. He is basically out-competed by power creep, so to say. I hope you liked this little short card review. They have just made a big release of new cards from Lord of the Rings. So we have a lot of cards to actually go over and uh, talk about. As there are a few cards here and there that are actually kind of interesting and looks fun for the competitive commander format. So more card reviews are coming up. And if you like this card review, then you might like that one. In any case, see you in the next video guys. Take care.